All right, now we're ready, after setting everything up, we're ready to actually uh, start testing electronics. So I've plugged in my power strip, and all I'm going to do is reach down and turn it on. And uh, some things that I'll have that you want to watch for right away is two things we're going to test out, or three things we're going to test out. We're going to see if this fan comes on, because it should come on automatically. If the power supply works, then... Um, we should have a screen here coming on and if the screen comes on there that means the um, the motherboards getting power and uh, and working properly so I'll just start with the actually I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll let you guys see what it looks like from the screen perspective kind of get it right there and all I'm going to do is reach down and turn on the power And it says welcome, welcome to ANET and printer, printer ready. So that's a pretty good uh, functional test right there. Um, the fact it says printer ready means uh, a lot's going well for you. That means the firmware is working. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that fan's spinning. So you've tested out kind of like three things right there. Your power supply is working. That fan's working. The um, BIOS is working on the uh, motherboard, and your screen's working. Uh, next, uh, let's see. What do we want to test out first? I've put some painters tape on the stepper motor so you can see them on the menu or on the on the, what do you call this thing? The screen here. Let's see if I can... Oh shoot, it's got a bad angle on it. I'll try to tilt this up so you can see it. See, it's got writing on there. That says up, back, menu, enter, and that says down. Also, these buttons are kind of different in that they're kind of weird that you can... You can flip them like up and down. I'll show you that here. Get right about there. You can like uh, toggle them up and down. Oh, I didn't even know it would do that. And I don't know where I am. If you get lost, to ship back. Where did I go? Okay, so I didn't even know you could do that. It's got some extra features right off the bat. But I get it to the printer ready screen. So the first thing you want to do is hit menu, and it's kind of deceiving because it looks like you could hit down on the menu, and you can, but it doesn't do anything. You need to actually click the down button, and you can either push it or kind of push it down, and that's what I was talking about. So let's start, oops, see that's where I say you get used to using the clicker, and it's like, why isn't it going up? You have to use the up one. Um, and I'm going to just go to position. So I'm going to back up and show you. So from the main menu, you just hit menu, go down to position, hit enter, and um, you can do a cheat and say home all, but that's I don't know if that's safe to do. So go down to fast position, and we'll do fast position X, you hit enter on it. Now, I'm going to show you, before I start monkeying around, well, I might as well just do that first. So, is this showing up on screen? Yep. Let's see. Yeah, there you saw it. I hit the up or down, and it's changing the position. Supposedly, that's the zero position right there. So, um, we know that that, oh, you couldn't see any of that. Let me back this up for you. Now that you see what I'm doing on the menu, cat's coming there. Hopefully, it won't jump up on the table. Watch the. Uh, this is my X stepper motor, and I just hit the up, and see it moves. Hit down, and it moves, and the cat likes it a lot. So, the next thing I want to show you right here, the way you test your uh, step or your. What do you call these things? The micro switch for the stop motors, those guys right there. 
you find the X one and I'll put it on the screen all I'm going to do is push it and see it says end stop off all I'm going to do is activate this the motor and I'll show you I'll back off show you that in a second got to find the right switch for it it should be this one so if I push it it says on and I let go of it it says off that's all you got to do and I'll back up and show you what I did to do that I just found my X one uh, off my motherboard there and you push it and let go of it and you see it uh, register on the screen oh huh, that's kind of weird my I must have bumped something my screen went to a different one on it so anyway so we've tested out um, the X stepper motor and the stop switch for it and again if you get lost just hit the back menu button thing I might be lying to you I'm not even sure where I'm at right there I don't know why I'm in a weird spot and I don't know where I'm at usually hit the back Okay, I just hit the menu. I'm not sure where it was. I think I was at the main menu. So I'm going to go down to position, hit enter, then just, this is showing up, then go down to fast, fast Y, hit enter. I'm going to check my uh, stepper motor. I press it. It says on, I let go of it, it says off, then I just hit the up arrow, and the stepper motor moves, I can tell by the little flag moving around. So, now I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to back out, because it's same, pretty much the same procedure, but I'll let you watch the Z motors, because they, the one command controls both motors. So I just hit back, I'm going down to position. Z or position or Z position fast. Hit enter on that. Um, I'm gonna hit my stop micro switch. Oops, where is it? That's why. This is Z. It's on. Let go of it. It's off. My micro switch is good. Hit the up. And oh yeah, you're backed up far enough. See, they both move and they move in sequence. And I'm purposely going to leave that out of spec. It's not. I purposely left it off on 5 millimeter. I think it says minus Z on there. So at this point, you know, you've tested your stepper motors. Those guys up there, all of them. And you've tested the um, three stop switches, your X, Y, and your Z stop switches. Now, uh, and you've tested your fan, and you know your power supply, and your screen's all working, and your buttons are working. So there's only like uh, three things left that we haven't tested, and I'll show you what those are. We haven't tested the bed, the extruder, or the variable fan. And the variable fan's tricky because it's changed the way it works. Um, you used to just go in there and change this fan speed, but that doesn't work anymore. So actually, and I'll show you how to do that. Next, we're going to test out the um, extruder stepper motor. Let me zoom in on the screen so you can watch how I do this. I'm just going to hit back. Maybe not. Okay, hit menu, then back. Actually, I'm going to go back to menu. I'm going to go down. Go up to extruder, hit enter. Okay, extruder position, hit enter. Okay, now, if I were to hit the up cable, up button, it would change it, but I don't want to do that, and I'll show you why. Careful, this can get really hot, so you just don't want to touch the end. 
you have to release hopefully it's showing up. you have to push this button and release tension on it and try not to touch the um the motor and I can actually feel it vibrating a little bit I'm just going to reach on the down the screen and push up and I don't know if that showed up but I could see it it turned the wheel so at that point you're done you know that the extruder stepper motor works um, there's a temperature only other two things to check is there's like a, um, the heat and I believe there's a temperature gauge on here somewhere see that was a stepper motor I think the white wire is the temperature gauge so I'm gonna put it down and actually I'm going to show you the variables fan if you look at it it's not moving right now so to get it working you have to raise the temperature of the extruder either the extruder or the bed and I think it's the extruder before it will work so I'm going to I hit back I'm going to go to extruder temperature hit enter and it puts an asterisk by it push up now it's raising it to 150 so the fact that it did that also I saw a light come in this light came on on the motherboard oh it's probably not showing up on the screen it is I can't see it huh? that's kind of weird trust me there's some LEDs that came up I think the camera doesn't pick them up because they're red um, another thing you can do is you can put your hand don't touch it and you can feel the heat coming off of it so I can tell it's raising temperature and also says it's 170 now because it's 170 I'm gonna go in and now I can set the variable fan speed So I go to fan speed. Oh, you didn't see any of that. I went to fan speed in my menu. I'm going to hit enter on it. And I'm just going to set it to 25%. Hit enter. And now if I go over to my fan, you can't probably see it, but it is spinning now. Before, you just used to be able to go to the 25% turn it on and it would do it. It will not turn on unless the temperature of the, of the um, extruder has been activated. In fact, to show you that, even though it's set at 25%, I'm going to now lower the temperature back to zero. It might take some time. Um, back, extruder, go down to temperature. And I got it at zero. Hit enter on that. Go back. And eventually this fan will stop. You just have to trust me. I'm not going to wait around because it's going to take time for the extruder to cool down. So at this point we've tested the extruder, the heat, the stepper motor, and the variable fan. And the only thing left we have to do is to test the... Um, temperature bed and uh, there's pretty much only two things to test on that if the bed heats up and if the computer or if the motherboard detects that it's heated up and I thought I saw for some reason the bed temperature is under extruder so I go extruder go down to bed temperature hit enter puts an asterisk by it I'm just going to clank it up. Now, when I did that, hopefully this will show up better because it's a pretty bright LED. So some of those LEDs are showing up better. When I did that, that LED on the motherboard came on. Now, I just told it to 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know my Celsius very good, so I don't know how hot that is in Fahrenheit. Um, but you can put your hand over it. And I can, that's not, I don't think that's very hot, but I don't know. Um, 
Oh, okay, so because it's so low, it cuts off pretty quick. Um, I can feel that it's warm to the touch, and the light went off. And I think the light went off because it doesn't take very much to get to 30 degrees Celsius. Keep an eye, make sure your cables aren't laying on your bed when you're heating it up. This screen must reset on its own, kind of like timeout. So I'm going to, what am I going to do here? Okay, hit back. Okay, so on the screen there it says 3030. I believe that, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the bed temperature and that's the nozzle temperature. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because I set that to, um, to 30 and it says it's 30 degrees. Another thing that's kind of useful to know, two things on the motherboard. Let me swing around to this side for you. See that flashing light? Where'd it go? It's right, it's just to the to the left of that heat sink. It's kind of flashing there. That flashing light is what controls that fan, or it doesn't control the fan, but it flashes when this fan is spinning. So if the fan ever goes out, that light will stop. Try to get a better angle on it. So the fact that you see that light there flashing, right to the left of the, um, it says fan one on there. Um, you can tell now. Event, every once in a while, you'll see flashes of an LED in that area, and that is because those wires go to the hot bed. So when it's heating the hot bed, you'll see the wires that go uh, an, a red LED flash next to the hot bed. Also, one last thing that's kind of nice to know is that there is. Oh, here's a. I don't know if you saw that. The LED on the light flashes on the bed and on the heater on the motherboard they both flash and that's to tell you that this is receiving power and that's sending power so that's a good thing to know and the last thing is in the middle of the board that button right there it says reset it's kind of nice to know I'm gonna actually push it and we'll see what happens I've never done it live so I'll let you watch the screen I'm gonna push that reset button you just reach down and touch it and so reset it. So that's kind of interesting. So at this point, oh okay, and in the stepper motor, when I did that, I don't know, it finally cooled off enough to where you can see the blade stop spinning on this. This whole time that's been spinning. So at this point, you've tested out all the electronic components to your A8 and everything is checked out good if you follow these instructions and uh, you're ready to start assembly. I hope this video helps you out. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. And I want to thank you for watching. One last thing that I have not figured out, and I so this is the only way I know. I forgot to tell you how to turn off the printer, which you're like, probably going, oh, how do I turn it off? <laughs> so you just, the only way I could figure out to do it is you just turn off the power strip. It's kind of weird. I kind of expected some kind of menu setting, but, um, and if you know if a better way to turn it off, let me know. So I'm just going to reach down, I turn it off, um, and it powers off. And so I, that's the last step was how you turn off the printer. Anyways, again, thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you around.